Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India leadership pipeline we have discussed about it is the how leaders are to be developed uh, and uh, when we are talking about this uh, leadership uh, uh, with the uh, assessing the leadership behavior now right so multi letter feedback uh, instruments are there where we can find out whether the we are having that uh, leadership uh, assessment possible or not how to evaluate the effectiveness as a leader leadership behavior model 360 degree feedback 720 degree feedback research paper case studies book recommendation and references as usual is there so when you know yourself it is the beginning of all wisdom so self awareness right and what is about the self awareness the self awareness is about your strengths weaknesses opportunities and trend know your personality it is what type of the personality then personality job fit is there it is how you are matching with your personality with the job is there what type of the orientation do you have like, like you see that is the we, we just uh, we have talked in the previous session uh, about uh, uh, how this uh, um, uh, the technical skill expertise not necessarily will make you the leader because leader is requiring the all the four skills interpersonal intrapersonal technicals uh, uh, and uh, and uh, and and the uh, the leadership skills right so therefore in that case uh, in all these four, four skills intrapersonal interpersonal technical and leadership skills it is the we have to know ourselves where we are and whenever we talk about the where we are then definitely uh, that assessment will help us uh, to make the further uh, step oriented uh, action or action oriented uh, employee so leadership assessment is a process by identifying and describing an individual's unique characteristics so everybody is having a particular unique characteristics is there right as they pertain to leading the managing and directing others and how such characteristics fit into a given positions requirement so that personality traits and given position how it is matching the leadership assessment process describes a candidate's way of leading others with a reference to a specific position and the present or the future is there so this uh, uh, leadership assessment process uh, which is uh, having this uh, leading the uh, with reference to a specific uh, 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 reference to a specific position present or the future is there right and this information helps the employer in selection placement and development decisions are there and therefore in that case uh, uh, this in information always helping the employer uh, whether so what type of the selection is to be made right so selection of the leader right that is also becoming very very important for a specific position who is the person who is most suitable right and then only not only the identifying the person or selection that is how you are putting that person in a particular job and then with the period of time the development of that person is also equally important so whenever you having the uses of the leadership assessment can be useful for a number of applications selection placement and promotion decisions are there so objectively assess the candidates leadership capabilities compared to the positions requirements development is there where enhanced development by increasing ability to fully fully utilize the employee capacities so that particular uh, uh, whatever the observations we were having in the selection placement and promotion and then then in that case we we should also know that is uh, after identifying this uh, person how we can develop him uh, and develop his ability so that we can make him uh, into to the use to the organization then the succession planning these identified leaders they will be the live within the organization and uh, then they will be placed at the new position organizational effectiveness assessment provides you now the objective means of researching and identifying the precise capabilities that drive organizational success is there 
So therefore, for the organizational success, this becomes very, very important for the OE that is the, whoever the leaders are there and when you are objectively assessing them. So that, that, that will be helping the uh, drive the organizational success will be there and uh, this way we will getting this uh, uh, the organizational effectiveness is there. Now, when how to evaluate your effectiveness as a leader, leadership skill is about the understanding your strengths and weaknesses as I was mentioning about uh, that is knowing your strengths and knowing your weaknesses is there. Right, and uh, below are some tips. Um, here we are uh, identifying that is how to identify uh, these uh, strengths, our strengths, right? Because that has to be incorporated when evaluating the uh, strength and weak, uh, weaknesses are concerned. So first step is the how to identify your strengths will be a crucial part of your evaluation as it will be allow you to understand where you truly excel, and we know that what job we can do and what job we do not like or we are not capable of and how you can best put those strengths to use and then if this is a strength how I can make it to the best use. For those who find self reflection difficult another way to evaluate your strength is to gather input from the other co-workers right and therefore in that case uh, always it, this will be better that is the whether you are getting that particular strength to get the input uh, from the other co-workers or not and uh, yes we can get the uh, input from the co-workers uh, higher management and the customers through the surveys or face to face meetings are there and uh, so there that is also about the evaluating the strength is there so uh, naturally the either your our co-worker colleagues will be keep on talking about our strengths or the higher management will appreciate us on certain points and those points will be about uh, the our strength is there. So, once you are identifying your strengths, so you are aware. So, self awareness is very important by your identifying the strengths. Identify your weaknesses. To become a more effective leader, you should also need uh, to acknowledge where your current leadership skills might fall short right and therefore, in that case uh, uh, may be for a particular job we may not have that particular uh, skill then definitely uh, what is required development program is required actually. Uh, some common weaknesses for aspiring leaders may include the communication. Now, now, now many people uh, they feel that they are having the best communication, but the best communication is does not mean that is you talk too much right rather than your communication has to be linked with the empathy concern for others that is whether you are concerned with the problems or challenges clients or customers may have right. So, uh, those uh, that sensitivity is there to understand the others empathy will be there. Adaptability, are you adapting your skills to match the demands of the modern business world and therefore, when we are talking about the artificial intelligence is there, use of technology is there, techno managers are to be developed and then are we having the uh, capability to develop ourselves as a techno managers. If we are the techno managers only in that case we will be able to lead. So, therefore, that adaptability with the change in the technology because the technology is frequently changing. So, if we are having those uh, uh, abilities then definitely in that case uh, um, you know, we can develop those uh, are those weaknesses are there we can develop those uh, uh, convert those uh, weaknesses into the strengths. And next is uh, developing your leadership skills once you have identified your strengths and weaknesses you can feel confident in creating a leadership development plan for yourself. A very very important uh, step that is the once we are knowing our strengths and weaknesses and then we have to plan for the our leadership development uh, uh, for ourselves. Some potential solutions available to help you start building and exercising these skills. Uh, so, therefore, always there are these certain help is available utilizing the free resources like books, podcast and even greater towards the aspiring leaders are there. So, that will be the source resources networking with others who, who share your aspirations and uh, building the relationships that could help you uh, down the line. So, therefore, that is a networking will be there and uh, you are able to develop that relationship with them attend a workshop or seminar and by that way we are learning to develop our skills and ask for the additional responsibilities at work and therefore, you can prove when we are asking for the additional responsibilities at work it shows that is we are ready to go for the next level and once we have we, we prove ourselves that we are competent enough to go for the next level because we have talked about our strengths and identified on those strengths and worked on those strengths. 
the leadership behavior model. The leadership behavior model symbolizes a leader with the people responsibility, competence and integrity who provides direction and guidance in an emotionally in, uh, intelligent way is there. And it groups these various aspects of leadership into the eight core factors uh, to review an individual's leadership performance is there. Now here leadership is having the different uh, dimensions and all these dimensions where the competent performer, uh, situational decision maker, uh, values champion, team linker, strategic thinker, change facilitator, people motivator and the responsibility giver is there. So all these are eight aspects which we, we, we are working on can be used to framework right and then uh, that leadership performance will be done on the basis of uh, uh, all, uh, uh, handling these uh, all this potential potential capabilities of this particular leadership is there and then if we are able to make this uh, leadership effectively then definitely in that case we will say that we are having the leadership behavior model is there so, value champions are there, there is a lives and the promotes the values, uh, team linker is there, links work people and processes, uh, people motivator are there, gives the positive encouragement of the team and individual performance and situational leader maker are there, makes the effective decision contingent on the situation and the people. So, therefore, whenever we are talking about the um, first is the value champions, right. So, lives and promotes the values are there. Right, and then if you are, so what are the values? Simple values are honesty, integrity, hardworking, uh, goal oriented, uh, uh, persuasion, performance, right, persistence. So, therefore, if these values are there, then definitely we can link to the uh, team, and this team is work with the work people and processes surrounding to a person. Then, people motivator will be having the positive encouragement of the team and individual performance, and therefore, in that case, always there will be the some people, those who will be keep on motivating you in the organization also uh, in addition to your workplace that uh, you can be you can be developed as a leader is there and on the basis of the situations uh, what decisions you have taken so makes the effective decision contingent on the situation and the people so therefore in that case all these four parameters or you can say the uh, these uh, four pillars of the behavior model that has been developed uh, by, by the practice, practice at the workplace is there. Now, the factors, uh, uh, factors of the leadership behavior model is that is about uh, the strategic thinker is there, then the change facilitator, responsibility giver and the competent performers are there. So, the strategic thinkers uh, did uh, develop uh, and progress a future vision and uh, therefore, in that case, uh, we will be having this uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the thought process right which will be deciding about the strategies. The change facilitators are pace self and the team through change is there. So, therefore, we make the proper changes are there and responsibility giver is there that is the empowers within the clear roles uh, and therefore, in that case uh, we, we are having this responsibility given and the competent performer uh, matches personal strengths and effort with the what needs doing. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, it becomes very, very important that is the how much competent performer are, uh, are we. So, therefore, in that case, uh, that uh, in the behavior model, this becomes very uh, uh, the uh, uh, important uh, uh, the factors whether the leader is a strategic thinker, he is a change facilitator, he is the responsibility giver and he is the competent performer is there. So, naturally, if these qualities are there. And uh, when I have talked about the self evaluation, on that self evaluation also we can find out that is the how person he can decide about that is uh, how he can go for uh, this type of the responsibilities uh, and uh, assessing the leadership behavior 360 degree feedback. That provides the staff with assessment of their work based behaviors coming from the perspectives of the people who work with them. Uh, now, earlier um, there were these uh, this leadership behavior feedback was uh, done only on the basis of that is a superior subordinate. So, superior was uh, evaluating and saying whether the subordinate is having that leadership qualities or not eh? and that is a person is having that leadership behavior or not. But now, when we talk about the 360 degree all people. So, that the all these uh, all these staff who are people who work with them 
So, feedback will be taken from the all the people those who are working with them and that is why it is named 360 degree because the responses are collected from people all around the employees, their supervisors, their colleagues, their clients right and uh, is well known concept in the powerful model for leaders assessment and the performance improvement is there. So, performance appraisal which is slowly comes from the views of their supervisor or managers as I am mentioning there is only the supervisor is evaluating and here it is it is about that is a, it is the, the information which you are collecting about that particular person whether he is having that uh, uh, these um, uh, the potential to be a leader or not or what is his leadership behavior so you are considering the all the people those who are working with him so traditional was that is supervisor to me and then when we are talking about the 360 degree it is the me uh, co work self also, me means self also. So, it is not only that is the supervisor is evaluating myself, uh, I am also giving my evaluation of my own evaluation, co workers, external customer, all stakeholders you will find that is the internal customers also and external customers also. And who are the external customers? Suppliers and vendors. Naturally, immediate supervisor, uh, skip level the reports and the uh, direct reports are there that is the those who are directly reporting to the particular person uh, uh, and the any other uh, person those who are coming into the contact with that particular employee uh, then definitely he will give the feedback and all feedbacks have taken it very seriously. And whenever um, we when we talk about these uh, traditional feedback versus the 360 degree feedback and uh, uh, here. Uh, the opinion of uh, all the stakeholders surrounding to that particular person um, by, by the all these eight uh, uh, the parameters then definitely in that case uh, uh, it, it will be done on the individual basis experience. So, there will be uh, they, there cannot be the biasness. Hmm? So, when you will analyze the responses of all these stakeholders then you will find that yes uh, you are having the very very points are which are common. So, whether the person is having that leadership uh, uh, capability or not. So, out of these 8 persons they will say yes this he is having the communication. So, the parameters and dimensions will be given for the evaluation to the stakeholders and the stakeholders on the basis of those parameters and dimensions which are provided they will evaluate the person and when whenever there will be this type of the evaluation will be there. So, that error perception of the per, uh, uh, perceiving the target and that, that, that will be uh, no error will be there and there will be no shortcuts in judging that particular person because you are considering the all, all the persons. This uh, uh, multi rater feedback instrument 360 degree feedback is there uh, um, allow managers to gather accurate information from the peers and direct reports about their on the job behaviors and the leadership effectiveness is there. The questionnaire construction is very very important uh, because you are collecting the information. So, therefore, the designing designing of uh, uh, that particular questionnaire on which uh, these stakeholders will be responding and uh, that is become very very crucial. Leaders who received 360 degree feedback had higher performing war units are there. So, naturally that, that, uh, that, that those who will be having this type of this uh, performing work units, so they will be at the higher positions. 360 degree system should tell leaders about their strengths and development needs uh, rather than the making the comparisons between the people is there. And therefore, in that case uh, the focus is not uh, uh, there is a another method and that is called the uh, pair comparison method. You know? So, that, that is a pair comparison method is not there, they are two subordinates. So, who is doing better it is not like this rather than for that particular individual how he is doing, but by all the stakeholders. So, therefore, in that case uh, leaders they, they, they are going for development needs rather than the making the comparisons is there. So, there will be no comparison and that, that, that shortcut will be avoided. Uh, the key to high observer rating is to develop a broad set of leadership skills and that helps group accomplish the goals is there. And therefore, in that case uh, uh, always those, those leadership skills you having the broad set uh, of dimensions on, base, on basis of which you are taking the responses and they, therefore, you will have the clear cut overall scenario about a particular personality whether he is having that behavioral skills or not. Research shows that it is possible to change others perception of a leader skill over time. This is a very 
um, the important uh, uh, the uh, statement and very very useful that is uh, with the period of time if somebody is have not been found uh, uh, be a good uh, performer earlier but after some period of time he might be a good performer so leader must set development goals and commit uh, to a development plan to the improve the skills are there societal or organizational culture race and gender play key roles in the accuracy and utility of the 360 degree feedback process is there and therefore in their case uh, uh, what type of the societal structure is there what is the culture society culture is there so especially the societal culture will be affecting on the genders uh, so if the organization culture and the society culture is supporting the all uh, uh, the employees whether it is irrespective of the gender then definitely they will be becoming the more successful. So, here the examples of the 360 degree feedback is here that is the uh, uh, these dimensions uh, 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 which will be uh, 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 you can uh, also note and uh, can uh, apply in your organization that is a thinking strategically, personal drive, learning and organization. Uh, organizing and inspiring aligned purposes are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, it, it, these are the dimensions I think strategically thinking how the person is having the personal drive uh, rating and organizing and, uh, and the inspiring the aligned purposes are there. Here uh, that is, this uh, feedback is taken from the, uh, the Kim converse um, the manager others and all respondents and therefore, in that case we can take the average of this like for example, thinking strategically it is coming 4.5, 3.1, 4.8, 4.3 .3 is there right. And when we are talking about the personal drive it is a 5, 2.9, 4.8 and 4.1 is there. So, therefore, in the case of the personal drive is concerned. So, here it is the 2.9 has been given by this particular manager. So, therefore, it becomes very very important that is the here also we can focus right and the self self has been given uh, it is a 50 right. So, as far as the scheme is concerned uh, that is the you will find it is a 5 is similarly here the inspiring aligned purpose it is a 4.8 and the manager has given 2.2 right. So, therefore, <laughs> lot of difference is there in the perception of the manager and others, but what we can gain from here is the others, the others and all respondents and when we are talking about the others and all, uh, the all respondents then they are close to the uh, Kim, hmm? whatever the Kim is having about the self and these uh, the others and the all respondents uh, they are having the same. Only manager, manager is not happy with his personal drive. Hmm? and manager is not happy with the inspiring, inspiring aligned purposes are there right. Um, as far as the planning and organizing is concerned yes uh, here also low hmm? and the thinking strategically here also. So, if you ask me on the basis of this analysis I can say his manager is not happy with Kim. <laughs> Uh, somewhere he is having the uh, very uh, um, bad impression uh, especially in the case of the personal drive is concerned and uh, whether it is bad. because you see that, he, that is the uh, this personal drive and inspiring aligned purpose. If you ask me for the leadership uh, weightage these are very very two important points and in these two important points the manager is saying no. So, what you will do whether you will uh, promote to a leadership position uh, to Kim or you will not pr uh, promote uh, the Kim for this particular leadership position right. So, uh, but uh, one thing which you will appreciate here that is the uh, the others and the all respondents in all the four dimensions they have help uh, to uh, Kim. Uh, 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 that is the perception is same. So, according to me uh, here the manager is not that much uh, supportive however, Kim is doing good and he should be promoted at, at the high level positions is there. So, uh, here the uh, all respondents uh, in the case of the other communication a, a compelling vision of the future right 
no no as i mentioned that is this manager he is not happy with kim so it is the one here at however this is five four four three point Five, four point three, four. Here you find that is the uh, 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 English people in the mission, vision, values, and direction of this uh, organization fosters a high level of motivation, and uh, therefore, uh, it, uh, I suggest uh, that is the Kim should have improved the communication basically. Right, and the communication enthusiasm uh, to be built uh, by him uh, in the team or organization. When he will be able to build uh, this uh, uh, the communication and the team uh, team functioning, right? Because the uh, but uh, um, again I will say uh, this is a very good example where the bosses are biased, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, the otherwise uh, this 360 degree feedback study and that has been very much useful is there. You can see the importance of this uh, uh, the uh, uh, 360 degree uh, uh, the uh, concept, right? So here, uh, whenever we are talking about this uh, uh, this type of the analysis. So, um, this is to be adopted and to be understood dear friends that is uh, sometimes bosses are not happy, but rest all the world is happy. How this is possible? It means that is the boss is having some problem here. So, so top organization implements this feedback that makes the difference uh, by measuring the right skills relying on empirical research to determine which leadership competences really make a difference to the performance of their firm rather than on some senior executives belief about what makes a good manager. Right. So, therefore, in that case this, this is the important thing that is the uh, aligning these uh, uh, the with inspiring and aligning others. Uh, so, the, that is becoming the key is scoring well. They take the time to properly explain both to participants and to the people giving feedback about those participants, why they are going through the exercise and how the data will be used for the participants development will be there. So, therefore, that will be the use and development of this particular uh, that survey. Right. So, measuring skills, they take the time to properly explain both to participants and the people giving feedback about those participants, why they are going through the exercise and how the data will be used for the uh, participants uh, development. Right. So, therefore, uh, to um, uh, about uh, uh, this particular uh, aspect right that, that uh, we have to see. Uh, now, uh, the top organizations implement 360 degree feedback that makes the difference, they tailor the results to each individual and to he, his or her position. So, therefore, it is a tailor made program and uh, in that case you will find that everyone does not need to be good at the same things and they present each person's result in a way that enables them to digest uh, constructively and use the data to create a personal plan of development. Uh, they make the feedback report itself simple to read presenting data in a graphical format that is easy to absorb is there. So, naturally that is a statistical analysis basically right. So, whenever you are making the analysis you are making the tabular form you, you are very clear with the like we have seen in this particular employees case. So, we were very clear what is going on. So, they include a mini employee survey that shows managers the impact of their behavior on their subordinates. And uh, in, in that case this data we can also use uh, for the development of this uh, manager uh, who is supposed to develop the leadership skills for the team because uh, uh, he is not able to get work done. Right? So, the, the impact of their behavior on their server. So, what will be the impact on the team? When the manager is like this the team has to be get demotivated, he will not perform because there is no appreciation, there is no communication, there is no inspiring. So, therefore, in that case uh, this 360 degree um, which is uh, which is giving us the message uh, that is uh, it has to be implemented. But further research was done and uh, considered an 
all round appraisal 720 degree performance appraisal gives an employee more than feedback from one person and this appraisal gives the employees to a lot of feedback generally from anywhere from a fi five to eight people to provide the employee with an all round assessment of his or her on the job performance is there. So, in 360 degree wh what is uh, what was there that is a superior right he was giving and the subordinate uh, they were giving and the colleagues, co-workers, they were giving this particular uh, input, but whenever we are talking about the 720, so, so 720 degree uh, this performance appraisal, right. So, as the name suggests is uh, twice it provides for two round of feedback. So, in 360 degree only we are, now, now you see that is we have seen the limitation with 360 degree uh, which is, I have talked in the previous slide and that, that is about that is the people may be biased, right. But when you are taking the twice with a, uh, with a period of uh, interval uh, uh, which is done again after 9 to 12 months. So, with the time uh, by giving certain time period interval and it is about 9 to 12 months are given and then again the feedback has been taken and then again we find that is it is showing the same then definitely in that case uh, that will be the part of uh, uh, the, that is the perfection that is the yes these are the findings and we can take the decision on the basis of these findings. Pre appraisal feedback is there uh, you sit down with their employee feedback is collected from all the notable and worthy uh, touch points. Managers and HR work to define who these valuable points of feedback are and also work to set targets and goals to go over in the official appraisal is there. So, therefore, before we going for this evaluation that therefore, the pre appraisal feedback is there and what should be the target to achieve. So, later on one should not say that is target was uh, too much. So, mutually, mutually discuss and decided. Self appraisal and employees is themselves matters using a self report questionnaire, fill out a performance review on themselves, make uh, ranking and rating their strengths, weakness, performance, and more is there. The co workers and colleagues appraisal is there. Uh, feedback from the peers can be very useful in helping employees understand uh, their impact and contribution uh, in the uh, team uh, to the team dynamic is there. And therefore, uh, it, it becomes very, very important that is the uh, pre appraisal. Then the self appraisal is also done by the employee himself. Uh, so, the, because as we have seen in the 360 degree, uh, because the 7, 720 is what? Repetition of the 360 degree. So, uh, the employee should uh, on those parameters which are the pre decided touch points with the supervisor. So, all these touch points will be discussed uh, with the supervisor and then, then it will be uh, uh, analyzed by the self appraisal and appraisal by the co workers are there. After the co-workers, uh, these uh, then uh, next suggested is that is about the customer appraisal. So, what do customers think of your employee? Customer satisfaction is key to the success of any organization and having an understanding of your employee's ability to relate well with and serve their customer base is indicative of their overall success in meeting your company goals. Now, here I would also like to add one point that is the when we are talking about the customer, who is the customer? Customer is not always the outsider, customer is within the organization also. So, from one department information is flowing to the another department, so the, the receiver of the that particular information he is a customer. So, we can evaluate that is the whether his interaction with the other departments and section uh, how, uh, how are the responses. Direct report and subordinate the appraisal from the people that our employee managers to uh, overseas is useful in analyzing the uh, organizational communication, motivational leadership and delegation skills are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, the subordinates they can talk about whether the communication is proper or not, whether the, he is motivational inspirational, uh, ins, inspirational or not, he is having does the he leads uh, and he delegates to the subordinates or not is there. And when naturally whenever we are talking about the managers, so manager is whether he has been satisfied with his the performance, whatever the delivery is taking, but the communication also, interaction with the supervisor and achieving the targets, uh, so that, that you can be also. So, appraised. The post appraisal feedback is uh, uh, which we, we have done the pre appraisal feedback. Now, we are talking about the post appraisal feedback in the seventh step. In the first step, uh, uh, whatever has been decided that was decided mutually. So, researchers of the 720 degree appraisal methods note that this is the key differentiator between these methods and others. This step includes additional guidance to help employees meet their goals and stay in uh, regular communication 
right and then they with their managers are there and uh, in that case if we are going for uh, this type of the regular communication with their managers then definitely in that case they will be becoming more and more successful is there. So, uh, this 720, 720 review method is there organizational goal uh, then the client subordinates supporters peers are there uh, then we are having uh, uh, about uh, this uh, in depth interview and personality assessment to the clients and the su uh, superior and subordinates. So, all will be apprising this. Mm, as usual, uh, mm, uh, these uh, uh, some research papers and the book uh, which has been recommended uh, for the further studies and reading. A 360 degree view for individual leadership development is there, uh, and this this is the methodology and findings of this. Then these are the practical implications, right? And this is the case study uh, of the Starwood uh, hotels, uh, which uh, will be helping you to understand uh, this type of the uh, uh, evaluation helps uh, Starwood hotels and if the company want to know move forward with the 720 degree evaluation for the leadership development, how would you suggest the company to do so? And this is about the book, the power of the 360 degree feedback uh, um, by T V Rao and uh, Raju Rao which you can refer. Uh, and uh, uh, these uh, lessons from these stories and practices some of the HR award winning organizations are presented in this edition. So, this book is very much useful right. These are the references from the text has been taken. You can note and go further details into for your uh, studies. This is all about uh, that is the how 720 degree appraisal system right. Leadership potential identifying and the self appraisal both of you are covered. So, the, thank you.